Okay, so I have a good news and a not so good news. Good news, 2023 is shaping out to be a really good year for smartphones. Like Redmi Note 12 Pro launched just in January and February is packed with smartphone launches. But the not so good news, phones are getting expensive. Like right now, if you want a good feature rich phone, it will cost around 25 to 30,000 rupees. And this creates a lot of confusion because there is Google, there is nothing, there is Moto, Redmi, IQ, Vivo, Samsung, lots of phones. So which is the best phone to buy under 30,000 rupees? Okay, so for better understanding for you guys, I have five chits in here, each for one best smartphone in that category. I'll pick five chits and tell you the best smartphone in that category under 30,000. Simple, and if you like simple things, hit the like button, let's go. Okay, so let's see what comes up first. Best media watching experience. For that, I'll give it to Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. And for better understanding for you guys, I'll be telling you the pros and cons of each phone. Number one pro is, of course, the display quality here is really good. But that is in every phone. What is unique is this display supports Dolby Vision, which no other phone in this price range does. So if you have a top tier subscription in Netflix, watching movies and all, you will have a really good experience. Also, the display is brightest amongst all the phones in this list. Number two, Diamond City 1080. Other than the display, it also has good performance for the price. Like it has the latest Diamond City 1080 processor. You can consider Diamond City 1080 to be like Snapdragon 778G. So in daily normal use case, See, there is no lag, nothing. And we even played Apex Legends on it. The gameplay was smooth. There were no frame drops or heating as such. Also, the camera quality is up to the mark. Like it has a 50 megapixel main sensor with OIS and the photos here are really nice. Even in low light conditions, the picture come out bright and it's good for the price. But there is one important thing that you should know. Redmi Note 12 Pro is still running on Android 12. Yes. That's right, a 2023 phone is still running on Android 12. Now Xiaomi has promised two years of Android updates, so it will get up to Android 14, which is still one year shorter than what the competition offers. Also, this has MIUI 13 skin, so few features like the material, U theme and color and all of that, those are not there. But in casual usage, media watching is your priority, then you can go for the Redmi Note 12 Pro. It is presently selling for 2499, but with bank offers, you could get it for 2000 less and for 2299, this is a good deal. Also, if you pay two to 3,000 more, you get Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. It has a 200 megapixel camera and 120 watt charging, but I would say for that price, you can skip. If it comes in sale under 25,000, then it is a good deal. Okay, next shit, best in hand feel where there is no competition here. It is undoubtedly the Realme 10 Pro Plus. Like Realme has put in a lot of effort on the design of the phone and it clearly shows. So it is the first phone at this price to have a curved display. Plus they put in a 5000 mAh battery and still made the phone sleek and it feels very premium. Other than the display, the camera performance is decent for the price. Like the selfies I took from this phone, the picture came out good. Pictures from the rear camera tends to brighten the face little. And if you go in low light conditions, the performance is not that good, but overall I would say the camera is average. Same goes for the performance. This too has the Diamond City 1080 processor. In daily usage or playing casual games, I didn't have any complaint. The only thing what I'll complain about is software experience. Like this phone has a lot of ads. See here, if I install any app, before even I open the app, it will give me this page full of ads. Like, why? Now Realme has improved the ad situation since launch. There is no vulgar ads or something, but there is still scope for improvement here. So overall, I would say if comfort and build quality is your priority, then the Realme 10 Pro Plus is best. It is currently selling for 2499 on Flipkart, but you can add bank offers and even bring down the price further. Best software experience. For that, I would say the Google Pixel 6a, but there is a catch. So number one, you get Pixel UI, which is basically stock Android, meaning no bloatware or anything. But the best part is Pixel phones will receive Android updates the fastest and the first. Other than the software, Pixel phones are known for good camera. So it has a 12.2 megapixel main camera and just have a look at these pictures. However, the thing is in low light conditions, it struggles at times. Like this is the same sensor Google has been using since Pixel 3 and it's starting to get little bit old. And this old sensor is more visible in low light videos. See, the video has grains. Other than the camera, I would say that the Pixel 6a has a very nice design. Like this camera island on the back is pretty unique. And the white color especially stands out if you are in public. 
people notice that you have a unique phone. Also, this phone comes with IP67 rating. The only phone in this entire list to have an official IP rating. The only concern I have with Pixel 6a is the display. Firstly, the display is not so bright. Like see here, side by side with the Nothing Phone 1, the display does not look so bright. And secondly, this is a 60 hertz panel. Like this is the only phone in this entire list that does not have a high refresh rate. So if camera and software experience is your top priority, then the Google Pixel 6a is the best phone. Now the Pixel 6a launched for 44,000 in 2022, but currently it is selling for 30 triple line on Flipkart and it goes even lower than 30,000. Okay, so best gaming phone. Now this one's a bit tricky because there are so many good phones here, but I'll give it to the newly launched iQOO Neo 7. The number one pro is it comes with Diamond City 8200 processor. Like this is a very good processor. You can consider it to be as good as Snapdragon 888 Plus. Also, it has this 90 FPS mode for PUBG New State and Call of Duty game. So see, if I play PUBG New State, in the setting, it shows 90 FPS. Everything feels smooth and responsive. Also, the processor doesn't overheat at all. And you get motion control here. So you can set like, see, if I tilt the phone, it goes into scope. And if I tilt it back, it comes out of scope. So all these exclusive gaming features make the entire gaming experience of the iQOO Neo 7 really good. And second, the iQOO Neo 7 supports 120 watt charging and you get the charger in the box. So no flagship experience, but very happy. So it can go 0 to 50% in about 10 minutes or so and 100% charging in 25 minutes, which is very good. The only concern with this phone would be camera. Like I could put all their efforts in giving the best gaming performance. So they forgot to give the ultra wide angle camera. So if you really want that ultra wide angle camera and the same really good gaming performance, then I would recommend iQOO 9 SE, which sells for around 31,000 rupees. It has the same gaming performance with Snapdragon 888 Plus and all set of cameras. Other than that, iQOO Neo 7 is also a good choice. Currently it is selling for 29999, but with offers, you can get it as low as 27,000. Which leaves the last shit, best overall phone. I'll go with nothing phone one. And at that price, the number one pro is camera. Like the 50 megapixel main camera takes some really nice photos, especially in low light, the picture come out bright and good. But the most unique part of the phone is the back. There is this glyph interface. First of all, it looks cool, but it is quite functional like this flip to glyph. I can just put the phone down like this and it automatically goes into silent mode. But in case I get a notification or a phone call, it lights up. So. Over the time, I've started using this glyph light as a notification LED. Other than this, Nothing Phone 1 also has some extra features. It has support for wireless as well as reverse wireless charging. You generally get this feature in premium phones, which are 35, 40,000. And it is very helpful. Even the software experience here is really nice. This has a custom Nothing OS skin, but there are practically no bloatwares. It is very close to stock Android with some app touches, weather app here and there. Now there are a few bugs in the phone which can be fixed with an update, but currently it is selling for 26 triple nine on Flipkart. So yeah, that was the list. Let us know in the comment section if you think we missed out on a phone and how do you like the new format. Also do note that the phones from 2022, you will get Android updates till only Android 14. So keep that in mind if Android updates are very important to you. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, 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 pew.